Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I am trying to repair this Gigabyte GTX 1660 graphics card. And by the way, this is my first ever GPU repair attempt. So let's see if I can fix it. Let's get started. So as I told before, this is the first GPU I am trying to repair. So I bought it as a faulty. I didn't want to buy a too expensive one because at first I want to try myself if I'm able to, to fix it or if I fix any graphics card or not. So I just bought this 1660. It's not that old, I would say, but it's already a couple of years old and it's not too expensive. So if I cannot fix it, it's not, a, not too much waste of money, I would say. The listing was stated that uh, there are artifact, artifacts on this. So it, it boots into Windows, but there are really weird uh, artifacts in Windows. So I'm guessing that this might be something to do with the, with the memory itself. Because this is because usually this is causing uh, artifacts on the screen. So let me show you, let me put it into my, in my PC. I will boot it up and I will show you my screen. And I will run METS later on to, to see if we can find any, any memory errors. So let's get started. So as you can see, I already put this Gigabyte graphics card into my PC, connected everything up, also my, my monitor. And I already have METS loaded onto this pen drive. And now let's turn it on and let me show you the artifacts. As you can see, the entire screen is a mess. And Matt is already running. I will speed it up for you. As you can see it failed, it took roughly 3 minutes to run and now let's open the report. We have to type in less report.txt and here you can see, we can see errors everywhere but especially in B0 and B1 we have a a hell amount of errors so we will focus on these two memory chips so b0 and b1 okay so i will turn off the pc and let's cut onto the bench and let's take apart the card as for at first i will just try to reboil them i will check because maybe only some of the pads because of the added, un, because of the unleaded solder are ripped off from the from the pcb or, or something like this, so I will give it a go and if not I will have to order RAM chips for replacement and then we will replace them. So let's get started. Okay, so let's take it apart. So let's see around, around the RAM ICs via microscope. So I will switch over to the microscope. So this is pin number one. Pin number one is here. So it means we have to count the memory chips from here. So this is A1, A0, B1, B0. And we are suspecting these two chips. These drop does the most of the errors. Let's look around if we can see anything obvious around. We cannot decide if this is flux around or this is just maybe this is just from the coming from the thermopads, the silicon ish 
material because everything looks quite virgin to be honest okay so I will not waste my time I will just remove these two ices and uh, I will reboil them So as you can most probably see quite a few pets are like dull so I'm pretty sure they were not connected at all so they are less greyish so here this one look at if I if I scratch it I can make it quite shiny same here so most probably these ices are fine I just need to reboil them and they are go gonna be okay so let's clean them up So we can also do some measurements, I just checked the Micron's web page and basically the first and the second in each corners are ground and uh, power so we can do some resistance measurement if they are shorted or not so I will go on first and the second pin and I can measure 76 kilo ohm, let's measure on the other side 72 kilo ohm. Let's measure the other one. Seventy-six kilo ohm. Seventy-four. Seventy-five. Seventy-two. Okay. So we are not we are not shorted. And also the third pins if we go to diode measurement we should go to this second pin in this direction and we should get on each and every data pins so the second and the third row sorry second and the fourth row are data pin the first and the second one and we, we should everywhere get some reading and we do so it's not not open loop it's not one it's, it's it's good so most probably if we do the rebolding we will be fine so i will try to look for a stencil and then we will do the rebolding
Okay, so as you could see, I hand reballed the two Romaisis because I did not have a stencil. Honestly speaking, I never tried hand reballing, especially with 170 pets two times. But the first one took me roughly 25 minutes, then the second one only like 17 18 minutes altogether. So at the end, it was not that bad, and my hand is, hands are shaking like hell. And I, I was basically holding my tweezer with two hands, and this way I could do it quite precisely. So all that's left is to solder back the, the two remises onto the PCB, and let's hope we did not screw up anything. So let's do this now. Okay, I think they both soldered on nicely. Now I will let the board to cool down and then afterwards I will clean it up with isopropyl alcohol. I will do some measurements and then we will give it a go. Okay, it looks like also the cups survived. So let's do some measurements here around the chips. If we have any shorts somewhere. Okay, no short here. And we just barely put it together, just enough for testing. We put a little heat sink on it and I will give it a go. Okay, so I cannot seem to find a heat sink. So as you get, okay, you can see I just put it in without a heat sink. I will just quickly turn it on just for a few seconds until it boots into DOS. And if I cannot see any artifacts, I will immediately shut it off. And uh, I will put it together and boot into Windows. So let's just do this now. I turn it on. See, still no picture. Ah, and we have a picture and no artifacts. So let's just quickly turn it off. Okay, so good, sounds good. It looks like we have a fix. Let me quickly put it together and uh, I will be back for a detailed testing. Okay, so I put it all back together, everything is connected, fans are also in. So let's power it on. LEDs came on. All three fans are spinning and we have a picture. Let's see if it finds the drivers. I have a, I also have an Nvidia graphics card so it should be able to find it. And yes. It's done. So Let's me, let me put my camera down and I will start OBS and I will show the screen. 
Okay, so I hope you see now my screen. As you can see, I open GPU-Z for Mark and also Valley. So let's do some testing. Here is our GTX 1660. It looks like everything is detected perfectly. No issues whatsoever. If we go to the sensors in ideal GPU temperature is super low. It's great. So let's start some test. Let's start at first. Uh, full mark, for example. And let's see the temperatures and let's see if it's crashing. As you can see, we have no artifacts whatsoever. So I'm pretty happy. Now it's running on 100 TDP, so it's really loaded heavily. Temperature is slowly climbing, climbing up, but as I told, I still have to replace the, the thermopads and also the thermopaste, but it's still, I would say, 59 degrees. It's still up perfectly fine and the fan is only on 39%. So let's close it. Let's start also volley. So this is also running really nice, no artifacts whatsoever. We have roughly 80, 90 FPS. Temperature is 57 degrees, so everything is perfectly fine. I'm really happy about this. It's running in 2K as you can see at the moment. So it looks like we have a fix. I'm super happy about this. My first GPU repair ever. Okay, this was not that complicated, although I had to rebuild two uh, RAM ICs, GDDR5 uh, RAM ICs by hand. But at the end it turned out uh, it was not that not bad at all. And I could use mats. So I'm super happy about the results, so to be honest. I will do for sure further testing, I will play some games, I will play a few hours after putting it fully together and replacing the paste and everything, just to be sure that everything is fine. Okay guys, so that's all for this video, I hope you found it helpful, I hope you liked it, if yes please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I hope I see you next time, bye!